Hi, we're back now, 739, with a new series called Undercovered, where we want you to tell us about the stories you feel are not being covered. The tragic mass shooting in Charleston has renewed questions about gun control and the gun culture in this country. So, we sent MSNBC's Ronan Farrow out to meet the new face of gun ownership. Interested to hear about this, Ronan. Good morning. It's good to be here. It is interesting, Matt. Here's the thing, you know, this past few weeks have just reminded us again and again of the devastating toll of gun violence for so many around this country. So it's not entirely surprising that for this first installment of Undercovered, a lot of you had questions about guns. There's actually a new study out that shows gun owners are predominantly white, they're predominantly male, they're over the age of 55 mostly. But what about that next generation of gun owners coming up? Well, I went and talked to them. Houston, Texas on a Friday night. So what brought you guys here tonight? Kind of like a date night. Just come here and you meet people, you talk, you talk about your next purchase. It's, it's better than going out and having a drink on a Friday night. Exit 755, just off the I-10. The Athena Gun Club. You could initially mistake it for an Apple store. All kinds of young people line up to shoot. Obliterating targets in video game style simulators, and blowing a few holes in stereotypes about what a gun owner looks like. From my cold, dead hands. What's your message to the person who's out there who thinks, you know, it's just old white guys? It's not. <laughs> Look at me. You know, it's, it's not. Some call it Guns 2.0, a new generation of gunslinger, young, diverse, and flourishing on Reddit, Facebook, and YouTube. Top Gun Tori, 20-year-old web star Tori Nanaka. Yes. It's everything so-called millennials claim they want. Colion Noir, 31, host of his own show on the NRA Freestyle channel. Kirsten Joy Weiss, 28, whose videos of Annie Oakley-style trick shots rack up hundreds of thousands of views. It's a card-splitting trick. Got it. According to one survey, gun ownership is in decline among the young. Only 14% of adults under 35 say they own one. Kirsten doesn't see it. I can say specifically for my channel, my, my range of ages, uh, my demographics is between 18 and 35. That's my main group. The gun culture here is thriving and booming. Either the, the data is skewed or, you know, maybe we're, we're moving to metropolitan areas where it's less practical to own a weapon, but the desire is still there. I met up with How's a group of young gun perfect. owners at the Best of the West, a popular shooting range outside Austin where the sound of gunfire rarely lets up. I think a lot of the older generations were introduced to, to it out of necessity, but for us, it, I think it was more of a, uh, you know, something we found out on our own, either watching a YouTube video or playing a video game. I love the video games and I love the, the shooter games, but what really interested me wasn't necessarily hitting a target. It was figuring out how they worked. And when you hit a target, it's almost like a video game response. You see something happen, and I think that's exciting. It's a generation shaped by headlines about mass shootings, but not in the ways you might expect. It really underscored in my mind that shooting is actually a martial art. And with any, with any martial art, it can be an art form, it can teach focus and discipline and kind of like, for lack of better words, zen. But on the other side, it can be used for, you know, evil in the wrong hands. But what do you say to people who say karate can't wipe out a whole school of children? Karate might not actually save a school full of children, whereas if you had somebody who was trained with a gun, who knew how to use it responsibly, he could actually save that school. Not everyone may agree, but they okay. say just like before you judge, get to know them. I think this new generation of gun lovers, we're passionate, we're connected, we're welcoming, and you're welcome to come to the range with us and just shoot. Let's yeah. try it. As you saw, these young people acknowledge the dangers of gun violence, but Matt, they are passionate about their beliefs, and they say their generation is overlooked a lot. Yeah, but when you talk about them being passionate about their beliefs, are they looking at this from the constitutional side or the coolness side? So what makes this angle interesting to me is we found many of them aren't thinking of this in political terms to the extent that you would expect, but the thing is, with the amount of gun violence in this country, it's inevitably political. They have these issues to contend with, even if they love their hobby for other reasons.